Hmm? Hey, Dan. It is uh, Upside down. Thursday night. Mm, three minutes until eight. Beth and I are both um, trying to um, fill these last few minutes before we can go reasonably go to bed. Um, that's Beth. Guess she didn't know that. And um, today was the first day of cross-country skiing. First day of cross-country skiing for Preston and Colleen. And uh, Galen also had practice as well. Um, the temperature today topped out at 55 degrees. Yes. 50. Uh-uh. Uh-uh. Five degrees. Um, incredibly warm, obviously, for January. You know, all of these uh, people I talked to who, you know, lived in Minnesota for 30 years said, I've never known it to be like this before. So, anyway, every year you get something where somebody says they've never known it to be like this before. Anyway, it is pretty darn warm. There is one ice house out on uh, Lake Winona. Um, obviously no vehicles, but uh, I, I brought my um, that uh, one of my video cameras out to when I dropped the kids off, and I was going to shoot a little bit of video because they um, the cross country team and some of the cross country skiers in the area have made um, enough snow to create a big loop, probably uh, like a quarter mile loop. Um, you need to make sure the other arm knows how to do it too. And so Galen, the, the high school team actually practiced on snow today. Um, but we literally, I mean, we have no snow. Um, you know, I showed you that snow that we had back on December 4th, the day that Beth and uh, uh, Virginia and the kids left for uh, Israel. Um, and uh, and then it melted the next week, and we haven't had any. We've had a little bit of snow here and there, but nothing that's stuck. Um, and the weather has just been incredible. In fact, for the next week, we're expecting temperatures in the 30s and 40s. And like I said, it was um, 55 degrees today in Winona, uh, like 58 in the cities. It was I think 65 in western Minnesota. Um, just. Uh oh, Dad, crazy, Dad, show him my hula crazy temperature. Um, show him my hula hoop. Hold on, honey. And um, so, no, you. We just watched your last um, construction update, and no, we're not getting bored with your videos. Um, if if I might make a suggestion though, and that is, um, show something other than a big pile of wood in your video and it would be more interesting um, even though it is hardwood and it has those fascinating register covers um, if you could actually show maybe a glue lamb here and there uh, even though you've already showed me that you can still do a little what I'd recommend is just pan around and just do a pan through of of the whole construction site um, as interesting as a pile of hardwood is um, and I've gotten your updates on Everton. I was talking with the um, the women's soccer coach uh, for Winona State. His name is Ali Omar. Uh, he where's he from, Beth? Lebanon. Le he's Lebanese. Um, and um, Preston. He. Um, Preston. Sorry. I was talking to him about your videos um, with FIFA 2012 and your um, how into it you're getting really for reasons of for reasons having to do with strategy and logistics and and things like that and uh, and he really appreciated that and is actually anxious to meet you so next time you come out we'll um, we'll sit down with Ali and have a have a cup of coffee uh, he usually comes into this to the shop every day and orders a small skinny cappuccino um, 
Honey, please. You can sit and watch. That's fine. But I want you to show you don't need to dance. Um, so anyway, um, I've been really busy uh, with work. Monday is the first day of classes for Winona State. And, um, and so I've been trying to create the new schedules. We've hired five new people. They've 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 all started have been in training. And um, there's just there's just a a ton of stuff going on. Um, there's the other things that we've talked about, which hopefully we'll have our next meeting on um, on Monday regarding um, you know uh, negotiations on the business. I've had some great conversations with people I'll tell you about uh, at a later time or in a private video, perhaps. Um, and um, so anyway, tonight was one of those nights where, you know, Beth went up to the Y and worked out. I was running kids around and I picked her up and finished picking the kids up at six. And it's like we just did not even have the energy to go home and cook. So we went out to dinner, which is not really common for us. Um, anyway, it's been a um, it's been a long day. It's a long week. It's Thursday, as I said. And I thought if I don't make a video, you know, even of just tired, bored stuff, it's better than nothing, right? I don't know, maybe not. Um, anyway, I loved your fashion, your uh, your fashion sense with your Everton jersey. Thank you for showing me the front and the back. Uh, yes, it is ironic that you don't want to wear a yellow jersey. Actually, I think you would look better in yellow, but what do I know? Um, and uh, so anyway, and that's all I got, ma'am. I'm gonna sign off here. You don't have to talk like that. Okay, hold on. I'm going to pan around for the dog now. Alright. Trust it. Okay, guys. Oh, here. See that painting up there, Dan? I want to show you my pastel. One of my staff painted that. It's uh, of the Pickwick Mill. She painted that for me for Christmas. Um, Amanda is her name. I wanted to show her my arm a little bit. When I took it off. Okay, yeah, yeah. Well, why don't we say that for the next video? So, guys, on the count of three, what are we? One, still, two, three. Still, still dead. dead. I'm a vampire, so I'm alive.